and they took us to the front. And uh, at that time, it was still, it was January, it was cold, and it was really, the snow was horrible. The snow was deep. And I'll never forget, uh, they took us up there in the back area, in the rear area, and then they told us to go ahead and walk. I get up to the front. The sergeant says, what the hell is that? I said, it's my duffel bag. He says, and I had a uh, combination. He says, give me the combination before I shoot it off. Some big burly guy from Steubenville, Ohio. O Ole Jawanik, I'll never forget him. And I looked at him and I, you're gonna shoot it off? I said, that's my clothes. Give me it, and I'm standing there and we're on the front. He takes it and turns it upside down. And he shakes it all out in the snow. I'm looking at all my stuff, my personal belongings, my picture of my girl, and all have fallen on the snow. And my shoes fell out, my extra socks fell out. I'm wondering, what the hell's going on? He says, all right, pick up. I says, um, oh, he looked at my shoes first. I had an extra pair of combat boots. That's them kind of strapped around your ankles. He says, um, what size them shoes? I says, 10. He says, that's my size. Give me them. I said, give me them. I says, that's my extra shoes. He says, you don't need any extra shoes. I says, I just was trained and I got to have extra shoes. You don't need extra shoes up here, pal. You carry what you wear and you ain't got no space for shoes. I looked down, I said, well, what about my socks? Wear them. I said, me, wear them. Put them on. He says, I got four pairs of socks on. You wear your socks. I said, what about my underwear? Slip them over the other underwear. So while we're standing there, you know, and I'm, I'm learning about keeping warm, uh, I looked out over the hill, and I saw there was a bunch of guys sled riding. And, and I looked, I says, hey, Sarge, I, I don't want to ask you nothing when he's upset in my bag. I said, who the hell is all them guys over here said right? He says, they're Germans. I says, they're Germans, why ain't we shooting them? He says, if we do, they'll shoot back. That's what you're talking about. He says, look, they're not bothering us right now. We're not bothering them. He says, look over there, our guys are sled riding. It was far enough away. See, the bulge had simmered a little bit and they weren't fighting, and we weren't fighting back at that time. When they started to shell, you got into it. But that was the first time I ever saw Germans, and they were sled riding, and we were told not to shoot them. 